Okay, <clears throat> here we are again. Welcome back. Now, let's get the bottom layers there. Okay. That might be good. I have a bad feeling about that. Really, that's all held on by this one support that's at an extreme angle. I think that's going to pull away funny. Or it's just going to break that support. And I should probably add a bunch more supports right there. So I'm on heavy. Just add it from the thing to the thing, man. Like, why does it have to be out outside the... From here to there. How come I can't just tell it from there to there? Like, look, man. I'll tell you what. Boom. 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 They're coming from all over outside of this thing. And now I have to make sure none of those skates are touching the model. Because they'll be fused to the model. So I'm going to hit E for edit. Grab the bottom piece of the skate. And we're going to make it smaller too. Click here. Change to 8. Oops. Not 80. 8. And it's stuck to all the other skates. So it should be fine. Click E again for edit. Move this one a little bit further away. Change the size of it to 8 millimeters instead of 12. Same thing with this one. Move it away a little bit. Change it to 8 millimeters instead of 12. And the last one here. This one. Go 8 with that. And move it around a bit to make sure that nothing is touching. Okay, nothing on the bottom is touching. A lot of these supports are overlapping. That's fine. It'll just be a big blob. Those may be a little hard to remove because they are all heavies. I'm just really supporting that first layer because it's just one layer hanging out there all by itself with all these things at an angle. It may not work out so well. But we'll find out. So let's continue. Rotate it with the right mouse button. And we're going to continue looking for layers with the up and down arrow keys. So up to the next layer, next layer, next layer. As it gets further out, uh, we do have more supports holding it from different angles. That was an island right there, but it has a support on it. Uh, as you can see, this one right here with that support. Uh, so these are all fairly well supported. I'm not seeing any islands at the moment. Okay. And this is just kind of my final pass to make sure I'm not missing any islands from before. Because the first pass I really wasn't looking inside the model like I am now. I did on the earlier portions of the video, but uh, this might have to be a two or three part video, right? No one's going to watch an hour of supports videos. If you did, leave a comment. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I mean, sure, do leave a comment because it's good for statistics. It's good to get eyes on eyes on video. All right, that's good, that's good. Zoom out just a touch. Oh, that's a total island right there. Okay. I think I saw that. Scroll wheel to zoom in. Up and down to go back and forth layers. Boom, look at that big old island. Not even supported at all. For a while, too. Oh, and then it connects to that one. Which is... That is connected to the model the whole time, it looks like. Yeah, from the get-go, it's actually right there. It's supported by the rest of the model. But this piece comes in, and boy, is it not supported by anything for several layers. Let's go down to the first layer it appears, right there. It's the tiniest little sliver of a layer. Uh, we can add a support by clicking, pushing A on the keyboard. And I don't think you can add it from above. You really want to be below it to add it. So, rotate, get below it. I think it was somewhere over here, probably. Yep, there it is. So, we don't need to be on heavy. Well, medium is good. So we're going to add that and then see where the rest of it is. Okay, so it connected to these other supports. And hopefully the base won't be somewhere where it's touching the model. That's so this one. All right, anyway, either way, you can tell 
it is not the support is not the skate of the support is not touching the base of the model because if anything is touching it is printed together it's fused together forever you can cut it apart but it will print together as one piece so that island is now supported and that's a medium support you know I'd like another support so another cool thing you can do another kind of a trick it's not really a trick it's just a way to use the tool is you can turn one support into more E for edit click on the little uh, pivot joint ball thing double click it that'll give you another support off of the same area boom you can click E to get out of that edit mode or E to get into it um, so that's just another support off of the same base and um, stem the same support structure it just adds another uh, tip of the supports so you'll see a lot of people do like a, kind of a fanned out support so that's the start of how you do that and we'll go over it in another video okay now I'm going to run some more islands that are supported up here yeah for a brief moment no islands in Luke's head though All right, let's print this bad boy. I am ready to go. Okay. Well, then I'll see you in resin.